Hello everyone, my name is David. Today we are going to take a look at another horrible case with you. The story begins with 23-year-old Sharaban K, whose family had recently shifted from Iraq to Germany. However, Sharaban's relationship with her own family was not good because her family was very controlling. Sharaban's family kept a close eye on everything, where she went, what she did, and whom she met. Besides, without their permission, Sharaban couldn't even go out of the house. Sharaban's family always monitored her, and they wanted her to pursue normal business studies, but Sharaban aspired to become a beauty blogger. So, she contemplated leaving her family behind to follow her dream. Despite following her passion, she became famous on the internet. People loved Sharaban's beauty posts on Instagram, and she also worked online, selling clothes and makeup items. Initially, she thought about growing her small business through Instagram, but then, after some time, she joined TikTok, and due to her TikTok account, her second business of selling beauty products and clothing experienced a significant boom. Therefore, within a short period, Sharaban accumulated enough money to buy her dream car, a Mercedes, with the help of TikTok. In the meantime, Sharaban also met her first husband through TikTok. This guy lived in the city of Munich, Germany. Initially, when Sharaban met this guy, they had extensive chats and conversations. However, later on, she decided to move to Munich, considering it the right decision. After spending some time living together, they both decided to get married. However, this marriage didn't last for many days. Although we don't have many details about it, but due to internal conflicts, they decided to divorce. And at that time, Sharaban was only 23 years old. Getting married against the family's wishes before the age of 23 shifting to another city, and then getting divorced shortly afterward is not a normal thing from any angle. Therefore, Sharaban's family was not happy with this situation, which led to their disappointment with her. Perhaps the love Sharaban was not receiving from her family, she was seeking elsewhere. In her search for this love, Sharaban met another boy named Shakir K. Shakir also found Sharaban very attractive, and he supported Sharaban's online career. Due to this, Sharaban also fell in love with Shakir, and they decided to live together in Livin. However, this decision created problems for Sharaban's family again. They did not like that Sharaban was doing everything on her own. Then, in early August 2022, one day Sharaban called her family and said, I am going to Munich to meet my ex-husband, and after meeting him, I will come to meet you. But after this last call from Sharaban, her family did not receive any calls from her for several days. However, this was not her natural behavior. Although Sharaban did not get along well with her family, but she used to share everything with them. Therefore, now Sharaban's family started worrying about her, and due to this concern, they began searching for her. Although they found Sharaban's Mercedes car near the Danube River, when they opened the door of the car, they discovered Sharaban's dead body in the back seat. Someone had brutally murdered her with multiple knife stabs, especially on her face. The family was so shocked by the severity of the wounds on Sharaban's face that they quickly called the police. Initially, they even refused to identify the body because no one wants to see their family member in such a condition. However, when the police came for investigation, Sharaban's family described the dead body's hair, height, and clothes confirming to the police that it was indeed Sharaban. Sharaban's family had lost their 23-year-old beautiful daughter in one stroke, who was just about to reach the peak of her career. But now, suspicion falls entirely on Sharaban's ex-husband. Remember that the last time Sharaban called her family, she mentioned that she was going to Munich to meet her ex-husband. Now, Sharaban's parents were about to call the police to inform them of this when they received a call from the police themselves. They gave Sharaban's parents some shocking information. In fact, after the police sent her body for autopsy upon finding it, it was revealed in the autopsy report that the girl was not Sharaban at all. The police determined through DNA tests on Sharaban and her parents that the girl found in such a critical condition in the car was named Khadija O. The missing report for Khadija was also received by the police, located 100 miles away from Sharaban's home. 
In addition, the police obtained evidence of Sharaban being alive through CCTV camera footage. When Sharaban's family believed that their daughter had died, at that very moment, Sharaban was ordering pizza from a pizza shop near her home. But the police needed to know why Khadija's dead body was in Sharaban's car and why she had not been in contact with her family for so many days. Therefore, without wasting time, the police arrested Sharaban and her boyfriend Shakir. After that, the police learned of a terrifying story, and even the German police said that this case is very rare. In fact, Sharaban did not like her family at all because she wanted to live her life in her own way, but her family members were not leaving her alone. Therefore, later on, Sharaban came up with an idea, and she shared this idea with her boyfriend, Shakir. She said, If in the eyes of my family, I am the one who dies, then I can do whatever I want according to my will, and then both of us can get married. Shakir liked Sharaban's idea. However, since Sharaban couldn't pretend to be dead convincingly, she started searching for her doppelganger on the internet. Now, Sharaban created some fake Instagram accounts to reach out to various influencers. These influencers were the doppelgangers Sharaban was looking for. Sharaban started finding girls who looked like her near her city and began messaging them on Instagram, offering fake deals. Many girls replied to her, and among them was a girl named Khadija. Khadija had the same skin tone, black hair, and height as Sharaban. Even her facial structure was almost similar to Sharaban's. Apart from looking like Sharaban, Khadija was also an Instagram and TikTok star, just like Sharaban. So, Sharaban, act like as the personal manager of the famous German rapper Loon, messaged Khadija. In her message, Sharaban wrote, I am the manager of the famous rapper Loon, and we are looking for a model with your body type for the music video of her next song. This story is believable because if you see photos of Loon, Khadija, and Sharaban together, all three look alike. Since Khadija already knew Loon, she was very excited to get the opportunity to work with such a famous and talented rapper. Sharaban was so excited according to her plan to meet Khadija that she kept messaging Khadija repeatedly, saying, We will give you so much money that your life will change. But now, Khadija found this statement very strange. Therefore, the thought crossed her mind that Loon is a very famous rapper, but why would she give me so much money? So, she decided to directly message Loon to confirm. In her message, she wrote, I am your big fan, but someone from your company reached out to me asking to be a part of your next music video and it seems fishy. Can you let me know if this is real or not? Loon is a very big rapper in Germany, and she probably receives many messages like this every day. Surprisingly, Loon replied to Khadija and said, No, sister, this is a scam. Stay away from it. After learning about it, Khadija stopped replying to the fake manager of Loon. However, Sharaban soon found out that her idea didn't work, so she messaged Khadija again from another account. This time, she spoke to Khadija about a cosmetic brand and offered to give her free cosmetics. In return, she discussed promoting her company's product on Instagram. Now, since this was a common occurrence for Khadija, she got caught up in Sharaban's plan this time and agreed to meet her. Afterward, Khadija came to meet Sharaban, where her boyfriend Shakir was also present in her Mercedes. Then, they both gave Khadija free products and, as part of the drama, also arranged for a photo shoot. In this extended session, Sharaban and her boyfriend became very friendly with Khadija, due to which Khadija trusted them both. After that, she offered to drop Khadija home in her car, and Khadija agreed to it. However, upon seeing a deserted road, Sharaban and her boyfriend attacked Khadija. They had brought a knife with them, and they assaulted Khadija's entire body more than 50 times. In addition, they completely disfigured Khadija's face, and Sharaban even dressed her in her own clothes, so that when the police found Khadija's body from Sharaban's car, her family would mistake her for Sharaban and proceed with her funeral. But this girl disappeared the next day, and it seemed very strange to us why she thought it was okay to buy pizza in public without wearing a mask. Perhaps the police did not disclose this information in the media after finding the body, which led Sharaban to believe that no one knew I had died yet, so I can roam freely.
However, before the autopsy report arrived, the police were suspicious of Sherabon's ex-husband because in their eyes, he was the primary suspect. But after obtaining CCTV footage of Sherabon, they stopped searching for her ex-husband. So, this was the story of a beautiful Instagram and TikTok star who was ruthlessly killed without any reason. Her only mistake was trusting an unknown person. Seeing Khadija's posts on her Instagram and TikTok made it seem like she was enjoying her life, but now she is no longer in this world among us. However, both Sharaban and Shakir have been sentenced to life imprisonment on charges of third-degree murder. If you appreciate our efforts, like and share this video. If you haven't subscribed, do so now. Thank you.